Hey folks, how you doing? Got a couple new things for you to show you, just to show you. A uh, little updates on uh, mini edges. The OZ is really not holding up real well. It's gonna go soon. Not a fan of sharpening my knife every day, every other day. So I, I use my knives often and uh, pretty harsh I cut. I said in previous videos I cut copper cables and stuff like that, uh, computer cables sometimes with my knife when I'm too lazy to go get the you know cutters so it's it's really it's soft steel it's in my opinion it's actually much softer even than a CR30 movie and uh, I definitely don't think the knife is worth what they selling it for and even with the convex edge is still weak it holds a little better than with the VH because the resistance when you're cutting through something is less so the forces on the edge are smaller but still not that great. You seen yesterday got these two Mercos and uh, they look pretty good so far except yet again OS 8 steel so they're not gonna be great but not that bad the knives are actually decent nice solid solid G10 handles with the CNC machining you see those grooves there looks pretty good the handles are actually identical blades are different this this jumping here is very aggressive on this one. This one is pretty nice. That's the that's the flipper, and uh, because this is only tip down, this is what sticks out on your pocket. So this one gets kind of annoying. This one not so much. Another funny thing: quality control. <laughs> check this out. Check this out. That's supposed to be six holes in one line. <laughs> nice line. So that's funny. It's not only me who cannot drill straight holes. <laughs> uh, other than that, you know, for 30 something dollars, I think you're getting pretty decent knife. You have, like I said, solid G10 slabs, very nice TIG liner lock, uh, pretty much no blade play. This one has tiny little blade play because the, the lock is not like uh, bent enough. It actually has a space to go even further but because it doesn't spring out so much there is l little you can hear it I guess but it could be actually fixable if you take it apart and bend it a little more so the lag will travel further down but I actually like this one the blade chip is very nice kinda shallow hollow grind and uh, for the money I paid for it not that bad this one has very very rapid uh, spring assist, like it really flies out. And this one is kind of lazier one. It's not so aggressive that uh, the, the force it flies out with. The funny thing about this is that uh, the construction, I took it apart, because I've seen it with the light. There is, imagine there's a hole in the blade, little hole, no? And there you have a big metal hook from like a wire, wire hook going around and it's connected to this big spring that it's like the, all underneath the hole let me see if I can get some light there you see there the spring throughout the whole handle that's the that's the assisted opening mechanism and I just found it very funny because I've never seen the one like that before normally you have a springs here now this one has a spring like kinda exposed inside the handle which is a little weird, I guess that like a cheap build but uh, not not such a bad knives uh, like I said only thing is limitation on the pocket clip which I don't like but overall not heavy pretty lightweight knives looks like it could be good beaters, beater knives and I'm very surprised to see their Ralph's designs in Merco because he's a he's a big time knife maker with really gorgeous and expensive stuff, and uh, he's selling his designs to a company like Merco. It's for me it's surprising. Uh, it's one of the knives I would really love to have one day. One of his custom knives because they are really sweet, or even the production DDRs are pretty sweet. The machine one, not the custom ones. They run about two three hundred dollars, about three. His custom, I've seen one of his customs at my local store for 650, which was really gorgeous, but it way out of my price limit for a folding knife <laughs> or for any knife in that matter. 
so that's the mayor cos not bad review will be in near future I got another one here uh, I mentioned it before I got the, the ZT0400 brand new very sharp SRDV steel you know it, uh, it has a serial number and everything made in states pretty sweet knife but I was expecting a little different it looks different on the pictures when you see or on the video than uh, once I get it in my hand the blade is interesting even though I'm not a Tanto fan but the blade is really cool looking but overall package just not my type the, I, thought, I wish the handle was a little smaller just doesn't doesn't look that right now I don't know for some reason it looked different when I seen it in other people's videos and pictures but might be somebody's uh, somebody's taste if anybody's interested let me know I I'll probably sell it uh, $90 shipped if anybody's interested brand new knife comes with the comes with the original package and everything papers rub of rub everything I'm not really gonna I don't wanna keep it it's it will be just waste for me I'm not gonna use that knife and one more spoiler I grounded new knife today I got a little time in the morning before I got to work uh, again 154 cm three and a half millimeter thick this time I I would call this probably a drop point blade no nice generous handle even for the big hands nice finger chawl really good lock up no thumb ram this time just kinda I would say elegant drop point I think it's pretty sweet nice belly up front four and a quarter inch long blade eight eight and a half overall you know it's gonna have one two three holes the rest of the holes are just weight just to lighten it up at least a little bit these three are measured the rest I just drill randomly just to do something there feels good in the hand it's gonna be sweet little sweet knife I think not a little it's decent size and uh, added that to the knives ready for a heat treat slowly slowly but surely I'm gonna get there not rushing anywhere I just don't have time but I have three now one is for the four actually four ready one is for the winner of the contest the frog toad one friction folder is ready that one and this one is ready also I don't know I don't remember if I showed this one before sweet little kinda chubby chubby little knife again three and a half millimeter thick pretty cool shape I think so every time every chance I get I'm gonna get something ready for the next batch of knives hope you enjoyed it guys thank you for watching like I said if anybody's interested uh, email me at uh, gavco that uh, gavco at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching. Take care. Stay safe. And remember, don't cut yourself.